Alright, hey, this is Trey, and I'm going to show you a little bit about electrolysis. Um, here's your copper. It makes copper carbon. Um, the bubbles keep the copper pretty much in solution until you stop it. One oxidizes, one pulls the other one, and then the copper particles don't make it, and then fall down to the bottom or keep in solution. Stone phone charger. Um, Output on this one, let me read that, is 5 volts at 550 milliamps on that one. It does pretty fine. This one is a toy transformer thing. It blew because it was at 15 volts and at Yeah, 15 volts, and it blew. And then you get this on the bottom, and it settles out, let it out to dry, and yeah, then you got your copper carbonate. And now here's the big boy. This is a Hewitt Packer power supply. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's 6 volts at... I don't want to move it because I got wires and stuff. But I'll let you know in the description. I got two fans each. This one is 12 volts, 300 milliamps, or yeah, I believe so. And this one is 12 volts, 400 milliamps. I'm cooling it off because sometimes it can get very hot. Um, just twisted the wires. It's my ground. And then this runs my fans. And this runs the power supply. And two nails. And this produces a lot. Like I said, um, I don't know if this one will blow or not with the fans, but we'll see. Um, but it makes chlorine gas. I'm aware of that. Um, there's not much you can do. I mean, I just normally don't put a lot of salt in there or sodium, where you want to do it, sodium bicarb or anything. Uh, um, so it doesn't produce that much. And normally I'm just whisk away, not produce that much. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think if you put too much sodium in there, you don't get too much chlorine gas, but anyone can tell me different. I mean, I'm not, not a self-made genius yet, but that's my electrolysis experiment. Um, anyone tell me how to uh, fix this because it's not working properly. It's like not reading amps or anything, but the batteries aren't dead and... Those are in the correct position, I do believe. And I um, switched the red and the positive and negative back and forth, and I can't get any reading. But uh, that's my electrolysis experiment. And uh, comment and like and subscribe for future videos. And I also just had this idea to put a heat sink that I pulled out of the computer. And uh, so it'll pull there. Uh, heat out of this readily and then transfer it through the wind from the fans.